whatever. At x, y, x, y. I guess I won't, just won't divide that. Um, color. ST, that's a vec 3, so I'm outputting a vec 4. Okay, then frag color equals... Yeah, vec 4, color, and 1. Does it even use the circle function? Well, it commented it. Okay, so let's see what this does. I'd have been shocked if that worked, to be honest. Key error u underscore color. Okay, so I have to pass a uh, fat. This isn't even used though. Oh, this is because I'm not passing this anymore. This is from the old shader. So I don't need that. What did I do? Key error u color again. Yeah, I can't set this. Here. Wait, is this the right place? My shader. Don't set that. It didn't work. It's only this gross yellow color. ST. It could be because I need that resolution. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to add in another triangle. So now I have six. And the other one is going to be... Um... The first... And the last will be the same, and the middle will have both of these negated. So I think this will cover the entire screen. Great. So now the question is, how do I make this actually have a an interesting design? Maybe I need the resolution. Maybe I can divide my vec to... I think it's like 854... By like 360. Nice. Nice. Okay. So what this means is that modulo resolution, I can find a random shader on the internet. That's weird. Find a random shader on the internet. Copy it into Manum, and I'll be able to see its design, which is great. So the, what I want to do now is just copy all of these designs. I feel like that'd be pretty fun. And this is actually a useful shader, because it covers the entire screen. But for now, I guess I'll just call it my shader. Hmm. Maybe I'll put, I'll put a name parameter here. Okay, yeah, this should have a name parameter. Then when I go here, I can give it the name of the shader. Or this one's design. But later on, and by later on I mean right now, 
I'm going to want to do this with a different shader. A shader with a different name, I mean. So, I'm going to want to do this with a different shader. A shader with a different name, I mean. So, let me make... No, that doesn't look that good. Let me move this back. And what I'll do is edit another file. Let's call this design two. And this one, also design two dot frag. Um, open design two. You have to read the old design. Okay, now what I think will happen is if I put a design 2 here instead of design 1, it should be passed to the shader here. Oh. Name. Actually, now I don't want to update that name. I'll leave this as design just to make sure it still works, and it does. But then I'm going to update the design too. Now it should be using the new shader, which is copied from the old one. But for this new shader, I'm going to copy the code from here. I should pass in the resolution though. I should do that. So, here, um, U resolution, think of this uniform vec to this line exactly. I think I just have to put it here. And here I'll put in config frame x is it frame width then at frame height I think that's all I need to pass this will pass the resolution as a uniform then here if I pass that in like that if I leave this as design now, if I have this as design 2, I mess something up. I didn't even do anything. Jeez. Oh, dot xy. Nah, no, I still messed up. Okay. But if I have this 854 and 360... No! Wait. Don't pass this. Don't pass that. I forgot to save. Hold on. Okay, I fixed it. Okay, I guess I'm not sure why I can't pass the resolution like that. Yeah, I would have thought this would be the same thing. Uniform Vec 2. Why would this be any different? Are these not the values I think they are? Okay, I'm going to see if these are actually... 854 and whatever. Now it's 14 and 8. So, um, I actually don't know the name of the variable I need for this. 
what I could do is ask someone else who works on the project. What I'm going to do is put a to-do here. Is put a to-do here. I guess now I could probably just search for an 854 in the code base, if I'm being honest. Pixel width and pixel height. No, it's a 480. So I put this down. And then I pass in the resolution. Then surely, okay, and now it's the same design that there was in the example. Because now it's a three by three. So now for design two, I can copy all of this. Um, so that should work. That should work. Tile might not work. Yeah, tile is a custom function. Rotate 2D is also a custom function. Box is a custom function. Okay, whatever. So I'll just copy all of these. All right, that was a lot of a lot of code that I shamelessly copy pasted. I don't have any hope that it'll work on the first try. Okay, yeah, okay. Geo frag color. Um, should just be frag color? Okay. It's weird that The, the image is the same one that appears in the example. But the sizing is off. And like if I resize the window. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, I can tell it's running the same code. So that's really helpful. One day one day i'll just take this code i'll take some shader code straight from shader toy and i'll run this this is actually this isn't a ton of code resolution this is just a vector. It does need a time. Normalized cross. This is not that much. Or is there more? Wait, why is the scroll bar? Okay. This is not a lot of code. Do I do it? Is it worth? And I'm not passing in a time uniform. I'm going to do it. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to write a design three. Like that then update this and put a three here when i run this i get the same thing okay that means 
all I have to do, I think, is copy that shader code into the fragment shader. Except I don't have time. I'll probably just hard code that or something. No, no, I, I feel nervous copy-pasting that much code. Let me do this one thing at a time. No, no, I, I feel nervous copy-pasting that much code. Let me do this one thing at a time. So start with this. Oh, wait. I edited the wrong code. Undo that. I have to go to design three. Close that. Close that. Design three. Okay. And for this one, I'm just going to remove all of this. Remove this. Shamelessly copy paste this. This will be the frag underscore color. Change this resolution. And this resolution. Copy these functions. Now these use time, so I'm just going to put a number, um, 314. And if I'm super, super lucky, I'll see a freeze frame of that. What was this, like, GL underscore frag cord? Implicit cast from VEC4 to VEC2, yeah, I have no idea what that means. Unfortunately. Darn, oh! Frag color. Wait, what's casted from VEC4 to VEC2? Is the time? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why I did that. Darn. You know what it might be? VEC4 to VEC2. I put this resolution here. Wait, this was a two-dimensional vector. GLFrag core is three-dimensional. Wait. What was the type of eye resolution? That's a VEC3. But why is it a VEC3 if it's only a width and a height? Is it a width and a height? Um... Okay, so I'm gonna make this a VEC3. And here I guess I'll put a 1. No, a 0. Let's see what this does. Nah, still no good. Wait, does it tell me? Line 48? It is this. It's something about this line. Frag cord is a VEC2. Should this be glfragcord.xy? Okay. I did something. I did something. 
And I am shocked that much worked. Like, why is this a VEG 3? So what might happen is if I keep passing this a new time, so I'm gonna put in end time. And then, wait, this should be a uniform. I'll call it U time. And then, wait, this should be a uniform. I'll call it U time. I think that should do. Wait, what did I do? That's a syntax error. Unexpected semicolon on line five. Oh, uniform. The type is a float. Okay. And if I pass in a time, I think I can just do. So I put in 314. Must be a tuple not float. Okay. Must be a tuple size 3, not 1. Wait. Oh, this is the resolution. Okay, so if I pass in this, this should look the same way it did the first time, which it does. Now if I vary this with a time, which I don't actually know how to do, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a variable time here. And then just pass in, like, load of time. Then just increase time. By one divided by 60, I guess. Nope, that didn't work. How do I... I guess I put global here. Okay, okay. So now, if I remove the background color and I remove the circle, It's so close. Like, I can tell. It's the same code, which is great. I don't know why it's darker. Hmm. <laughs> Why would it be darker? The frag... The color... I don't even know what this rm function is. ro and rd... What are these variables? Negative 50... Yeah, I don't know why it's darker. I feel like that'd be pretty hard to figure out. But... You know what it might be? Everything, all the pixels in Manum have an alpha channel, and I don't know if this has an alpha channel. The frag color that it outputs... Now it's a VEC4. Maybe the alpha channel isn't high enough? So I try to back for the call. Nice. 
And it's faster. Probably just because I'm doing that thing at the time. But this is technically being rendered with mana. Nice. That's that's so nice. If I can abstract that logic into an actual object, that's going to be super, super powerful. Yeah. Yeah. I got something from Shader Toy running in Manum. Cool. So cool. So definitely going to save that. Actually, it's pretty much already saved. Oh, I have to set, add some of these some of these shader files. I should move it. Oh, it, it ran out. <clears throat> or a shader from Shader Toy. Oh, what I do. Cool. Does it render to a file right now? It isn't. I think I can make it render to a file. Let me see. If this wasn't 100, if this is like 5. And I did the same thing. I think I just have to add the W flag. Nope. Wait, why does... I thought this is how you wrote files. Well, now I don't know how to use Manum. Do you have to use dash dash write to movie? Okay. Wow, the playback looks terrible. Just awful. Hold on. Um, let me take off the quality flag. Maybe that'll look better. Great, perfect. I'm going to put this in the Discord. But I'm going to make it like 10 seconds or 20 seconds. A tweet. I feel like that'd be kind of... No, yeah, I should. We should do a tweet with it. But it'd be kind of really misleading to say that. Be like, yeah, Manum totally does this. And it's secretly a shader. But if you're not in the Discord, by the way, you should be in the Discord. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, thanks, Kilakota. Mana Media Videos. OpenGL, this. And it is too big. Okay. Guess it's not going to be 20 seconds. So if I... Okay, so that's just 12 megabytes. Um, what was the limit? Now it's just not working. Guess I'll do 10. Eight. Okay. So this should be down to six. Eight. Okay. So this should be down to six. 5.5. 5. I don't know why it's not working though. I feel like my Discord is just broken. Maybe I should refresh it more. Video was generated with Manum and projects. I feel like this is interesting enough that everyone will want to see it. You know, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna break the rules because I'm the moderator and I can. Okay, so I'm going to put this here. And maybe I'll put it in projects too, or something like that. Um, oh, hey, cool. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Okay, that was fun. I'm not going to keep... <laughs> Thanks a lot, Blake. All right. That was great. Um, I'm going to end on this high note, so it'll be sort of, after that I won't want to go adding like a shader mob object or whatever. So, thanks a ton for watching everyone. With six people, I'll try rating someone. See how that goes. You too, Blake. Um, try to find someone who speaks English and not make that mistake again. Okay, this person. Yeah, this seems like a nice guy. And he just started. Cool. So I'm just going to raid this person. Cool. Thanks a lot. We made a ton of progress. And I will see you guys later.
And if I call this like a static, then I don't need an instance of uh, browser, so I can totally do this on the fly. As long as it doesn't attempt. And it does not. Yeah, okay. So this will happen before the tests even run. The tests run, I don't even oh need to browse. I don't even need to check, you know, if, you know, if there was. Mm. 